hello everybody i am going to explain you about how to execute python programming using the anaconda package and in jupyter ide so initially for that you have to execute the anaconda but if you type this keyword anaconda package free download you can be able to get this uh, link in this you have to go for anaconda in this you have to download the anaconda for download anaconda distribution so in this different versions are there python 3.6 python 2.7 according to requirement you can download after downloading this you have to go to the particular jupyter ide for that how you can go to the jupyter ide means you have to go to the command prompt you have to type anaconda prompt if you type anaconda prompt you will be entering into this thing here you have to type here you, are, you have to type jupyter notepad so again i am repeating already it's open that's why it's not coming i'll be going to take a new anaconda prompt to you so once if you open anaconda prompt in this you have to type jupyter notepad notebook you have to type once if you type this jupyter notebook this will be open so in this so many files are there in this i am going to explain you about naive bias classification naive bias is one of the main machine learning algorithm before looking into the naive bias classification first initially i am going to execute a simple program this is hello.py this is already a program is there simple program def hello in this one single print statement is there so for this how you can execute this means here you have this file gets open no in this you have to go to new then in this you have to click this python this is the python ide so i want to execute this hello.py py for this what i have to do means i have to go to this window here i have to import hello once if you type import hello then you have to do shift enter so this will be executing and producing the result hello world hello world is the output for this code here we have, we have given the print statement print hello world so this is what we are getting the output hello world similarly i am going to execute the another program that is nb1 that is nb1 so what does this program means i am going to execute the naive bias classification so, uh, naive bias classification so what do you mean by naive bias classification means the algorithm and the concepts are there here naive bias classification is a famous probabilistic classifier it will be able to give the probability of occurrence of a record if you give a new record means whether that particular record will be belonging to a class or not so that probability will be measured by using the naive bias classification so these are all the formulas so in this classification the numerator should be high and the denominator is the constant so with this mathematical equation we are going to use the statistical methodology to find the occurrences whether the particular tuple belonging to that class or not for that this is the code i have chosen i am going to execute this code using the jupyter ide in anaconda so for that i am using the famous google's sklearn learn package skykit learn package in this i am going to import the numpy numpy package import numpy as np then from sql i am now i am importing the naive bias in that gaussian i am importing then accuracy score also i am going to calculate for that i am importing all these packages after this these are all the training data i have taken so for these sets these are all the training input points and these are all the training labels so the first thing if the values are minus then the labels are one if the values are positive the labels are two like that i am giving the training inputs after that i am assigning this in the array x and y 
So these are all the training data I am giving as an input. After this, I am going to apply the Naive Bayes classifier. Naive Bayes classifier means I am giving the variable CLF is equal to. I am calling the Gaussian NB. Then in this CLF dot fit XY means for this Gaussian Naive Bayes package class, I am giving the input as the training points x and y training data so the the algorithm gets trained with this gaussian model with this training data once the model gets ready trained with this training data now i am giving the test data some 1 2 3 4 data i am giving test points and these are all the test labels i am going to give and these test data are used to evaluate the accuracy of my Naive Bayes classifier. For that, I am using this statement predicts. Predicts CLF is the already trained model, my Gaussian NB model. CLF dot predict. I am giving the test points as the input argument. After this, the model gets predicted the predicted the values for my test data. So in this, I am going to calculate the accuracy of my result in two ways. One is calculating the accuracy by using the manual calculation by using this labels and checking what is the formula I am using this float of count divided by length of the test labels manually I am calculating the accuracy then here I am using my uh, accuracy score here I have imported the accuracy score so with this I am calculating the accuracy so manually calculated value and the accuracy score whether these two values are correct or not means I have to check this by this Jupiter IDE here the name is NB1 so I am going to check this in my uh, IDE I have to import NB1 then i have to press shift enter so it will be producing the result the manually calculated value is 0.75 accuracy and by using the accuracy score it gets calculated like 0.75 that's all then one more example also i want to share so this is the uh, package in this fitter sentiment analysis this is the classification Uh, python programming in this uh, two different data sets are there so from sentimental analysis uh, categorizes the data as happy and sad these are all the training data and test and happy test and ha sad test these are all the test data i am going to use see this these are all the statements representing the happy statements and these are all the statements representing the sad statements like that i am categorizing this and this is my classification Uh, code python code in this i am using the natural language toolkit in that this for this also i am using the naive bayes classifier so i have to get all the words from my tweets and i have to extract all the features from my uh, tweets then i am going to read the tweets and store it in the file after that extracting only the essential features after this i am applying the classification using the nltk and tokenizer i'm splitting into tokens and i'm classifying the tweets then i am reading the positive tweets and store it in happy.txt from happy.txt i'm storing this is pos tweets and from sad.txt i'm storing the negative tweets after storing positive tweets and negative tweets from these two text documents here i am going to eliminate the Uh, letters if the word is having less than 3 means it has to be filtered from the data after that i am going to extract all the features word features from the tweets after extracting i am storing these in the word features after that i am going to train get the training set and train the naive bayes classifier i am going to extract the features using the nltk classify and training set is ready with this training set i am applying this training set to my argument to that naive bayes classifier so the naive bayes classifier gets trained with my training set once the training set gets trained with my training data naive bayes model is ready now i am going to test my model with the test data here i am going to give the happy test dot text and sad text dot text so with this positive or negative test data i am going to check my accuracy of my model so here i am calculated the accuracy is equal to float length test tweets then for tweet i am classifying 
if if it is available in tweet 1 and tweet 0 if it is equal means that is accurate we can have it or else we have to remove it finally i am going to print the accuracy and it will be producing the result like this objective is to calculate the accuracy of my tweets whether it get categorized what is the uh, confusion matrix whether it is accuracy whether all the things are positively labeled and negatively labeled this is the final accuracy i am calculating so this is the result after uh, executing this in jupyter the total accuracy is 90 percentage 80 by 20 so in this um, happy.txt contains 80 tweets that are happy and sad.txt contains 80 tweets that are sad so here happy test data is 10 positive and 10 negative. So with this data set, I have executed the neighbors classifier and generated the result as uh, accuracy 90%. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Thank you.